Chinese officials have banned Tesla cars from its military facilities over spying concerns. 中共日前下令禁止军方以及从事敏感行业的国际和关键机构人员开特斯拉，怀疑特斯拉的车辆镜头会将敏感资讯传回美国政府手上，而时间点就落在美中会谈之际。This point, it should be lost on nobody that the U.S.-China relationship is not coming back together. So to invest in that as a long-term opportunity does not seem, you know, very wise. I mean, they have to look for other markets. We don't want them to be tied in there. In ways that transfer technology and know-how to our primary adversary. 外媒评论指出，中共针对外国企业的做法是出于政治原因。特斯拉的中国市场是仅次于美国的最大市场。二零二零年全年销量一举突破十三万辆，在当地更获得土地税收与贷款优惠。而近年来，中共大力推动新能源汽车。去年十一月更宣布，计划到二零二五年，中国新能源汽车要达到汽车总销量的五分之一左右。也不难看出，中共为何如此重视引进特斯拉进驻。中国市场。You look at something like Tesla, where apparently China's state banks funded the factory. I mean, Elon Musk is going to have a lot of trouble in China. There's a reason they funded his his factory, and they want his technology, and they're producing their own national champions. I mean, the electric vehicle sector is one that's been, you know, one of the top targets of Chinese industrial policies. So I think for Tesla to be over there in in ways that appear very naive is going to be a huge issue. And and that's I think you know there are other industries and companies doing that as well. I mean, 也有不少分析认为引进特特斯拉能够扶持中国现有的新能源产业链，而特斯拉在中国的销量大增，也带动中国本土汽车。就在特斯拉经历短暂蜜月期之后，韩媒报道，中共的补贴新政策将可能逐步削弱特斯拉的竞争力，而特斯拉未来在中国市场的走向将如何，持续受到关注。新唐人的电视赵廷玉整理报道。